Because of New Year's and uh, going down and watching fireworks, I didn't catch when the actual inverter turned off. The highest I've seen it was at 0.5 of a kilowatt hour on the meter. And because the meter's gone flat and the uh, inverter turned off, it's yeah hasn't 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 kept the reading. But we're still sitting down at 11 volts now, and the sun's only just out. It's just charging. It's like nine o'clock, but we've still got bugger all. Solar gain at the moment, um, about 2.5 watts at the moment, so it's not going to charge in a hurry. The um, so I got 0.5 of a kilowatt of usable 240 volt power out of that power wall yesterday, including the solar coming in, which accounts for about anywhere between. 20 and 45 watts um, depending on where and how the sun is it was a pretty good sunny day yesterday so we did get a lot of solar gain as a bonus so I think it's time to build this same thing but on a grand scale um, we'll go with some self users uh, more obviously more solar input and a bigger inverter but uh, I've got another 1000 watt inverter as well we can play with first so uh, first things first we'll get some cell frames and um, pick which cells I want to put in them I've got uh, nearly a whole tub of the INR 186520R Samsungs which a majority of them are tested between 1900 and 2100 milliamp hours so that'd be good for it um, we can go back to our original plan of using this in the uh, jump starter box. But, uh, yeah, well, that's, that's panned out pretty well. Half a kilowatt hour of usable power charged. I think three, two or three five amp batteries, a four amp battery, a nine amp battery, uh, a couple of small 12 volt batteries, and uh, the two 1.5 amp power 18 volt batteries before the inverter was tapping out. Uh, it was still sunny when the inverter was tapping out, so we were using our solar as well. We weren't just using completely the batteries, but uh, look to gain half a kilowatt hour doesn't sound like much, but that was a free half kilowatt hour. If you uh, compare the time it took to solder all of those, for instance, it's just offset itself. So uh, the money that I spent in electricity to solder them has been counteracted by the sun. So uh, we need some more sunshine and I need some more panels. Uh, I've got some leads on some big uh, 300, 315 or something watt LG panels, which will be awesome. Um, I might buy a couple more of those charger controllers and they can all just work together. And uh, away we go. I have, uh, yeah, so I'll just find them. I think I've got a dozen, half a dozen of these, 100 amp inline fuses what we might do is we might put one of them on the output of each of the big banks before they head to the inverter and uh, so we can just bolt them into the leads that way we've got a bit of protection because the uh, like that for instance I think I measured 40 oh I can't remember now 40 or 50 amp hour at 12 volts and um, if you consider they've got, I think it's a 15C discharge rating, so it could be 15 times 50 amps. That's just crazy. So if uh, all the potential got live, yeah, they could seriously output some crazy power. But uh, none of the leads or anything got hot when I'm pulling well over 300 watts. I think it got to 380 was the highest, just with the Milwaukee battery charger, which I think lines up with... Oh, if you had three rapid charge batteries on there, it might pull a little bit more. But, um, yeah, pulling over 300 watts, which is half the inverter's capacity. No worries at all. The fan in the inverter kicks in. It stays, you know, 30 odd degrees, 35 degrees maybe in the inverter. The leads at epic overkill um, to the Anderson plug and the circuit breaker, so they had no problems. 
and the uh, ones from the Anderson plug to the power brick there. And there's nothing wrong with them either. They're about a well, maybe an eight gauge, maybe or maybe ten gauge wire, something like that. So uh, yeah, no issues at all. Um, Rowan asked the other day, "What is my input cable?" For those who want to know, that is a two and a half millimeter section. Um, plain old house cable that we use in Australia and my one there runs for probably about 35 meters up to the panel I still get huge voltage out of the panel um, still see 20 volts when it's not charging or it's got a full battery so uh, I don't believe there's a great deal of voltage drop if there is it's not really affecting me too much um, especially not when you're charging a 3S pack because you only need 12.6 so that's a big advantage when you've got a panel up on the roof that's producing up to 20 and you only need 12.6, well the gain is your amps, you, you get more amps. Alright guys, that's it from me for today. I just wanted to update you on my progress and what I'm seeing change. It's pretty cool, it does have two power outputs uh, and they're linked together so it's not like it's a 300 watt this side or 300 watt that side like some of the bigger cheap ones are just something to keep in mind so uh moving forward we'll get a bunch of these cell frames ordered if anyone's got any locally send me a message i might just buy them off you locally so we can get this happening quicker a couple of rolls of solder and uh away we go some fuse wire thanks for watching guys this has been a very successful small scales test. Um, essentially it's not going to be any different, just bigger. Mainly bigger storage and bigger inverter and bigger solar gain. And uh, that's simple. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.